Hello viewers and welcome to today's episode of Disappointed Dragon and today we're mixing two mainstays of the channel, blind packaging and construction toys. Oh, it's Nirvana on YouTube. Um, so <laughs> we've actually seen something from this range before. We got that little uh, pirate kit that had the little crocodile and the pirate and the, the chompy crocodile where if you chomp too hard his head flew apart. <laughs> so I saw these actually at the dollar store. Um, and yeah, they're mega construct story builders. So I guess you get two times little figures inside. Um, that you're supposed to be able to build stories with for imagination with kids, I guess. Um, yeah, there's a lot of text on this. A lot of text. Tons of text. Uh, ages 4+, plus, warning, choking hazard, small parts, blah, blah, blah. It looks like we've got a fair amount of different things. We've got a doctor with a humongous stethoscope on top and a bear. Uh, I'm going to guess lifeguard, alien. Not sure. Could be a cons Oh, lumberjack. I didn't see the axe there. Uh, orc, wrestler, witch, cat, maybe cat lady? I don't know. Uh, wildlife photographer, yeti, um, lion, ninja, and fireman. Oh, and on the top we've got some kind of monster and a viking. So, uh, pretty cool. I like the little deformed nature of these little guys. They're super weird. If you remember from last time, I really liked the pirate. I got two of them. I think they only actually had two, so we'll open up and we'll see what we get. We got a bag full of pieces. Oh, I wonder, do they always come in the same pairs? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so we got the fireman and the purple dinosaur. The purple monster. Oh, no. Are they always the same? Are they always different pairs? I guess we won't find out until we've opened this. Well, I would have to say we'd have to open more than two unless we get duplicates, and I'll be honest with you, I don't actually want duplicates. Uh, I know that normally for these videos I would do a time lapse for putting together Lego, but I feel like something this small I can probably fill the air talking while I'm building it. I don't actually think I'm going to need to... Uh, cut to a time lapse in order to fill the air um you know as soon as i said that i completely blanked on any kind of conversation um <laughs> real professional around here guys real professional um i actually really do like the idea of these things though to be perfectly honest i, I love the the very basicness of it it's the kind of thing that when i was a kid i would think about building with lego just these little Little monsters, little vehicles, stuff that's just tiny. And as you know, I always like... I've always liked miniatures and simplistic things. There's our little purple monster. You know, I'm going to assume that he's a purple people eater. Like from my childhood in the song, The Purple People Eater. If you don't know that song, you're missing out. Honestly, I don't know that song anymore. <laughs> it's been so long, actually, since I've uh, heard that song. Would have been when I was in... Oh, maybe kindergarten. It's been a long time for me. Since then, it's been a little while. Alrighty then, we've got Fireman Frank here. That's what we're going to call him, Fireman Frank. With his, uh... oh, well, that's hard to put together. Fireman Frank. Yep. Something stuck in his eye. Some ash, maybe. Maybe he lost his eye fighting the last fire. And uh, now that there's no fires left to fight, he is here to save children from the Purple People Eater with his... Focus. 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 Okay. You were focused. There we go. Uh, fight the Purple People Eaters with his Axe of Justice. Ah! 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 He lusts for blood now. Fires cannot satisfy his thirst for vengeance. Um, moving on. <laughs> I, I like them. We'll go over uh, which one's my favorite and all that after we've done the other box. Let's see. Hopefully we get something different. We got the same ones. And we, uh, very sad. Oh, no, no, no. I see green. We got an alien. 
and something else. I don't know what else yet. All right, let's see. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? You got an alien and the wildlife photographers, who I guess could be a UFO nut. It's kind of hard to say. I don't know. I wonder if we ever get different ones or if it's always the same, too. This interests me greatly to find out. I may have to get some more. Not only do I really like these little things, because they're super cool. I love the design of them. They're super fun. But uh, I'm curious now. And Curiosity killed Nathaniel's wallet. <sighs> okay. Pardon me for uh, humming and getting notifications on my phone that I forgot to silence. Silly me. And she's got a little camera. Click. <laughs> I love this. I really, really like these. If that wasn't already clear, I am uh, very enamored to these things. I claim this planet in the name of Grabulon. Well, we've got our little cast. So uh, we're supposed to, I guess, create our own story with these little guys. So um, we'll... Uh... Oh, come on, camera. You don't need to fall down. There's no reason to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Stay still. Okay, so, so here's the setup. All right. Um, Fireman Fred here, he, he fought all the fires, all of the fires have died. He lost his eye tragically and he has become a vigilante. He goes out and he destroys monsters in the streets to, uh, make the, the grounds of Blocktopia safe for, for people. And one day an alien arrives and tries to claim the planet for Grebulon, bringing his, uh, purple attack monster to placate and... Uh, um, conquer the, the peoples of Blocktopia and Fireman Frank will have none of that and he comes in with his axe a-swinging slices up the alien ah, uh, 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 cuts his head off and murders the alien too ah, yeah, uh, as the press comes in and snaps pictures of the hero as he stands triumphant upon the corpses of the invaders and the earth is safe once again yay <laughs> Yeah, no, I love these. I love these. This is this is this is really great. Um, I think I think I paid like I probably paid two dollars each for these. It's probably a little bit much for the the amount of stuff that you actually get in them, but at the same time, I love them. They're such fun little designs. They come with little like a little uh, flag, an axe, a camera, a little cool monster. It's really fun. Uh, lots of imagination can be had with these. Hopefully, not children aren't having such bloodthirsty fantasies about a, an axe-wielding maniac defending the earth from aliens but <laughs> i really enjoy these i really like them i think they're yeah I, I, if i find more of them i'm definitely gonna get more because I, I really enjoy these little guys i think they're actually far more fun than a typical uh lego figure just because of uh you get to build them and i don't know there's something fun about their little blockiness and this guy reminds me a little bit of um Greg from uh, Over the Garden Wall with his face there. Like a block version of Greg. I think it's really cool. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video, guys. Until next time, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!